welcome back to another episode on my YouTube channel. I am Hillary Mulek, a wedding photographer based in North Carolina, and today's topic is talking about how to create client client timelines within HoneyBook. Now, HoneyBook is my client management system. If you want to learn more about that, I have tons of videos about how I use HoneyBook and how much I love it. But on today's episode, I'm going to be solely focusing on how I use the timeline feature within HoneyBook. So I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes, looking at my computer screen and just showing you exactly how I create a client timeline. Now, before we do that, I have talked about in previous videos about about my pre-wedding questionnaire. Now my pre-wedding questionnaire is a questionnaire that I send to my wedding clients about four months before their wedding day. They fill the whole thing out, it has about 60 questions on it, and it is all the information that I feel like is super useful for me to know on the wedding day. And I use this questionnaire to fill out their timeline, and then the timeline is what I print out or save to my phone and have with me on the wedding day, and that is the information that I work off of. Now, if you haven't already, you can actually download my pre-wedding questionnaire for free. It's in the description down below, so if you haven't already, you feel free to download that. And let's go ahead and dive in to my computer. Okay, so here I have two windows pulled up. This is a real client of mine, Vivian and Christopher. I've actually already created a timeline for them, but I want to create a just a sample timeline so that you guys can see how I actually do that. So this is a real client of mine. Because of that, I'm going to be skipping through a little bit of the beginning stuff of the questionnaire because it's their personal information. But um, everything else is going to be going into the timeline so that you can see how I create these timelines for my clients. Now, this window on the side, this is their pre-wedding questionnaire. They have it mostly filled out. They filled out about 59 out of the 62 questions, which was perfect. And then over here is the template timeline that I pulled up. So if you go to your client's project within HoneyBook and then go to the create tab in the top right hand corner, you can actually click create and then click the tab that says timeline and this will pull up. So I actually like to start by just typing photography timeline and then putting in the amount of photography coverage hours that they have with me. So Vivian and Chris have nine hours. I also like to select their wedding day. I'll just put their wedding day for this weekend. And then I'm going to start with some notes. Now in this notes, I'm gonna put the client names. Obviously I would put their real client names, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna put, client, put the words client names. I'm also gonna put their phone numbers and then any other photo notes um, as I'm filling this out that I feel like is something that I need to keep in the back of my mind throughout the day. So these are just kind of just general information and notes that I like to have. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a new item. Oh, just added two new items. And then I'm gonna go through and start filling out the sections of their day, and then I'm gonna go back and fill in the times in which those things are happening, and then I'll fill out all information from there. That sounds like a lot, but I promise it'll make sense. Right. So it says that they want their photography coverage to start at 12.30, so I'm actually gonna put 12.30 here. And then this is the name of their venue, so I'm gonna copy and paste this in their photo notes. Actually, I'm gonna put venue location. Great. Their ceremony is going to be from 4.30 to 5. So before that, I actually know that they are not planning on having a have they are not planning on doing a first look, which means they're planning on doing a traditional automobile and doing the majority of their portraits together after the ceremony. So because of that, they're obviously going to be getting ready separately. So bride getting ready slash details. So this will be her detail photos, getting ready, and then I'm also gonna do a groom getting ready section. This will also start at 12.30. 
Oh, I forgot. So since they're not doing a first look, we are also going to be doing separate bridesmaids groomsmen photos. So bridesmaids photos and groomsmen photos. I like to create two separate things for this because all of my weddings I have a second shooter and so I usually am with the bride and my second shooter is with the groom. So I like two different sections so that we know what we're in charge of for each of those sections of the day. After that, since the ceremony starts at 5.30, I want to plan on having all portraits done and wedding party hidden away at least a four, at least 45 minutes, if not an hour before the ceremony starts. So since ceremony starts at 4.30, I want at 3.30, we're gonna start um, doing detail photos of ceremony and reception space. Great. And then after that, at 4.30, we have ceremony right after that at five o'clock. This is when we're gonna be doing all of their portraits. So we'll do family photos. We'll do full wedding party photos. And then we'll do bride and groom portraits. Perfect. And then I'm also going to create a cocktail hour section because I'm probably going to have my second shooter go and cover a little bit of the cocktail hour. So I want to make sure that's in here. And we know cocktail hour is from five to six. And then here we have reception, which starts at six. And then because our photography coverage is nine hours and our coverage is starting at 1230, we know our coverage is gonna be ending at 930. Perfect. Awesome. So now I'm gonna go back up to the top and start filling in more of the details and then we'll go through the pre-wedding questionnaire and like start scrolling down and copying and pasting over what needs, what needs to be there. So we're gonna go over here to detail photos. I'm gonna put those from 12.30 to 1.30. And then from 1.30 to 2.15, I'll do bride getting ready, and then I'll also do some portrait time with the bride as well at 2.15 to 2.45. We're actually gonna do, because I see right here at the top with the pre-wedding questionnaire filled out that the bride wants to do a first look with her bridesmaids and first look with her dad. So, first look with bridesmaids, then dad, and then at 2.45 to 3.15, we'll do bridesmaids photos, and then I'll also add individual photos with bride so that each of the bridesmaids get a photo with the bride. All right, so now I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna fill out some more information for the groom stuff. So. Groom doesn't need as long to do his photos, obviously, so, or do his detail photos. So this will be, let's do 1230 to one detail photos, and then one o'clock to 145. This will be groom getting ready, and then candidates of guys getting ready, and then at 1.45 to 2.15, I'll have my second shooter take them out for groomsmen photos, drill photos with the groom. And then my second shooter will be done by 2.15, so they'll be able to come over to me at 2.15 and help with first look with bridesmaids, first look with dad, and then stick with me for bridesmaids photos as well. So that'll be great. So those will all be wrapped up before 3.30 where we'll start photographing details of the ceremony and reception space. I have at the top of the list, 
the guest count. So I'm gonna put in the guest count. And then let's see, I also have at the top of the pre-wedding questionnaire, you just can't see it because it's right next to their personal information. So I'm kind of keeping that hidden, but I know that they have five groomsmen and five bridesmaids. So I'm gonna put that detail here as well. Five and five, I'm gonna go down here to wedding party photos. Five and five as well, great. All right, so let's keep going down the list. Uh, they are both going to be getting ready at the venue location. So I'm just going to put that little detail here. Awesome. Cause sometimes I have brides and grooms that get ready in separate locations. So I like to note that ceremony starts at 430. Great. We have that. They are not doing a mass or a receiving line, but they are doing a rose petal exit. So I'm actually gonna put here in the ceremony section, rose petal exit. Great, cocktail hour is from five to six. Reception is from six to 9.30. As far as their events for their reception, they're having a first dance, cake cutting, and then both parent dances. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that down here into reception. Father, Father of the Bride is also giving a quick speech. So I'm also gonna put Father of the Bride. Let's do welcome speech, great. This is just confirming that they are feeding us. Here's a note about food, great. Yes, they are doing sparklers at the end of the night. So right here with wedding coverage end, we'll, I'll put sparkler photos. So here I asked my brides and grooms to give me a rough timeline of things that are happening on the day. So everything look here looks good and I, it doesn't look like there's anything that I really need to add. Oh, it does say that at 6.15 there's gonna be introductions and a first dance. So I'm gonna add that detail here. Intros and a first dance. And then it also says that the family is going to stay at the amphitheater for family photos. So I'm gonna put up here for family photos, location, amphitheater. Awesome. So this is the list of family photos that they wanna make sure we get. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this over here. If you look in my pre-wedding questionnaire, I actually have a checklist that they can check and of just generic family photos that they may want. They can go through and check whichever ones that they want. And then there's also a section where they can add more unique photos that they want. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that list here. They also have some extended family pictures that they want. Put that there as well. At the reception, they want a group shot with college girlfriends. Awesome. There's no split family situation, so I don't have to worry about these being in a specific order or anything. So that'll be great. All right, down here, what details matter most to them? So this is perfect because I'll be copy and pasting these things and putting them into the timeline. So the bride is going to be wearing her mother's veil and grandmother's ring. Love to make sure that's captured. So that'll be in the bride detail section of the day. Oops. Awesome. Walking down the aisle big be a big moment for us since we're doing Trisha reveal. We want to make sure it's captured. We do know that they're doing a Trisha reveal, so we will make sure to do that. Um, plan to have a table of our parents and grandparents at the wedding next to the cake. So I'm gonna put that under detail photos. We have a signature drink with our dog. That is also gonna go under detail photos. And then my mom is painting a sign. So we'll put that under detail photos as well. So these are all things that we'll make sure to capture that they have just made note of. 
All right, some things that they definitely want both sets of parents during the ceremony. So I'll put that. Great. Here I have a section that just asks them what they're most excited about for the wedding. And of course I am going to capture every aspect of the wedding, but in an instance where we're tight on time and maybe we have to sacrifice some time somewhere, I know what is most important to them. So they may say that bride and groom portraits are important to them, but they didn't mention that wedding party was as important to them. So if for some reason we are tied on time on the wedding day, I'll make sure to maybe spend a little less time on wedding parties so that we have more time for bride and groom portraits. So what I like to do here, so here they have said relaxed bride and groom portraits is important to them. So I like to just put a little star next to that. Ceremony is important to them. And then details decor, decor and reception setup. So star next to that as well. So there, those are their three stars. So if for some reason things are tight, and I really try and plan for things not to be that way, but if for some reason things are tight and I want to make sure I'm getting the things that are absolutely important to them, I can quickly look at my timeline, look at the things that have stars next to them and know, okay, if I get these things really well, then I know that like my bases are covered and they'll be really happy. Other notes, they will be having, they're not ha having a sit down dinner, they're having dinner stations. So I'm gonna put that in here. And then down here, they just have all of their vendors that they'll be working with on the wedding day. So perfect. So now I'm just gonna make this timeline a little bit bigger. Look at everything. We have their notes about them and their venue. This is the timeline for the bride getting ready, a timeline for the groom getting ready. Details we're gonna to wanna to make sure we capture of both the ceremony and reception. Then we have the ceremony, and we're gonna make sure to get both sets of parents. They're having a rose petal exit at the end. These are all their family photos that we'll be doing at the amphitheater afterwards. And then we're gonna do, I'm gonna put times for this. So I'm gonna give us about 20 minutes for wedding, for family photos. I know that seems like not enough time, 20 minutes, but I really do go through family photos very quickly. I have a very efficient system. You can go back and look at a past video. I'll link it down below, how to rock your family formals at your next wedding. It's a game changer. So I'm gonna give myself 20 minutes for those. And then I'm gonna give myself 15 minutes to get the full wedding party. And then that rest of the time will be bride and groom portraits. Cocktail hour. My second shooter will cover this. And then at six o'clock we have the reception. And generally what I'll do when I get on the phone with the couple or when I get a timeline from their wedding coordinator or their planner, I'll go back in here and fill in times for the things that are going on during the reception. So I know for sure that these are the events that they want photographed, but I don't necessarily know the times. And generally the couple doesn't really know the times either. That's something that I'll, that's information I'll get from either the coordinator or the planner. And then we have their sparkler photos at 9.30 and that's when their photography coverage ends. So I hope this information was helpful to you. This is exactly the process that I go through with every single one of my wedding clients. I do the split screen and I have their wedding questionnaire on one side, have their timeline on the other. I go through and fill out their timeline while looking at their wedding questionnaire. And then I go ahead and send it to them and then we both have the timeline to look at as we're talking on the phone. And then I can make any adjustments and send them a final timeline. And then this is what I will send to my second shooter. This is what I'll send to the planner if they wanna know what the photography timeline is. And then this is what I'll print off on the wedding day and then also save to my phone so that I know exactly what is important to them and the timeline for everything. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any other questions or are interested in those downloads, especially that freebie of the pre-wedding questionnaire, you can find that on the description down below and I'll see you again next next week for another episode on my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.